hip-hop has many artistic expressions, from breakdance to uh, graffitis to the music. And it's a huge movement. Here on campus at Rutgers University, Newark, uh, we have a Hip Hop for Urban Peace Festival. And the idea was to give a space to uh, the younger generation. Instead of just, you know, being gangs or doing violence or, or vandalizing or stuff like that, you know, that they can make a mural with their paint. And... Hip Hop in many countries, in Colombia and Central America and so on, is actually used as a way for young people to get together and build community in a non-violent way. There's a lot of violence against youth in the U.S. in, in like uh, urban cities. What we're doing today is first putting, putting the word out there, bringing attention to those problems. I think hip hop is a really strong tool for people to express themselves to... I think you can provoke change, you know, by organized people. We make a distinct separation between hip hop culture and the rap music industry, which puts forth values of violence and misogyny and individualism and materialism. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about social justice, we're talking about peace, and we're talking about freedom. So when we talk about hip hop and an idea of peace and unity, the idea is to unite the streets through this beautiful culture. If you build community, then of course you should also have a lowering of violence, right? It becomes a way to transcend reality and to be able to express your needs in a completely different and non-violent way. We are hoping to have this festival once a year, but more than this, we hope also to replicate it in the neighborhoods and the community in Newark and around New Jersey. Uh, because at the end, peace building is also very local, and we want uh, to bring this method of using the arts, of using hip hop, to build a community. Yeah.